Well, who remembers the Web Fest in Bowling Green? Web Wilder is a musician, and he's here today with Amber Turner and Matt Peppercorn. Thank you guys for being here today. Thanks for Thank having you. Us. Web is going to be performing at the Phoenix Theater tomorrow on October 28th. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Tell me a little bit about the theater, first of all. Um, well, it's a local theater, public theater of Kentucky, and we own the Phoenix Theater where these concerts take place. So it's uh, the Phoenix Theater across from Tidballs, the little blue theater with the big red phoenix on Chestnut. So Hi. come out and support us. What's it mean to you guys to have somebody like Webb Wilder performing? It's great to have Webb uh, here. He's kind of uh, comes back about once a year, and he's just... Uh, wonderful performer and people look forward to it and we're excited to have him at the Phoenix. Oh yeah. A lot of Santa Claus parallels there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some about your music. How did you all get started in this? Well, you know, uh, I wish I had a great answer for mm -hmm. that, but you, like a lot of people, you start, um, you know, with a hairbrush for a microphone or whatever, to, but no, with yeah, a plywood guitar, you know, times. and trying to play songs you like. and. Uh, the Beatles has a lot to do with why anybody my age is involved in music, I think, you know. And uh, But but I was into music before that. So uh, they said I sang before I talked, you know. <laughs> and I used to watch the country music shows that were syndicated on television when I was a kid. And Country music's my favorite. Well, there you go. And uh, well, I was very fortunate because Porter Wagner's show every week had Dolly Parton. And um, the Wilburn Brothers show every week had Loretta Lynn. And it doesn't get any better than that, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, played in bands. There were back in the day there were teen centers and we could learn to play there but I moved to Nashville in, in 82 and um, we started playing with uh, Webb Wilder and the Beat Necks, a very problematic name that everyone gets wrong, <laughs> um, in about 85 you know and um, just been doing it ever since. And you love it? I love it. If I didn't I wouldn't do it because it's really crazy. What do you expect tomorrow? Tomorrow night what do you What's it going to be like out on the stage? Wild out on the stage. <laughs> out on the stage, it'll be terrifying. No, uh, <laughs> out on the stage, what will what, be great is I'll be surrounded by my band, and they're all great. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. So uh, you'll have Bob Williams on guitar, who is a veteran of, of so many recording sessions and uh, big-time gigs. His first steady gig was with Arlo Guthrie, Dolly Parton, Lee Greenwood, Tanya oh, wow. Tucker. Um, you know, wow. And uh, Tom Comet, who's played with me since 96, and Rick Shell, who's either toured or recorded with everyone from Steve Earle to, um, you know, Southside Johnny and, and on and on and on. And um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And, and the Bowling Green audiences yeah, are all really good, you know, every year. So oh, yeah. whether it's medium, big, small, packed, sold out, whatever it is, mm -hmm. I look forward to that and appreciate how much they always seem to appreciate it. What are you all looking forward to for tomorrow night once this concert all gets started? I love seeing the people come dressed up because he has sort of a rockabilly feel. So it's fun to see everybody come dressed up in like their rockabilly attire. So that's really cool. And the crowd, his fans are just the best fans. And it's like the best vibe. And it's really a fun crowd. Yeah. That does sound fun. Webb Wilder is performing at the Phoenix Theater. It's tomorrow night, October 28th. And it will be... At 8 o'clock, tickets are $15 in advance at Mellow Matt's Music and more. And you can get information about the Phoenix Theater. It's located at 545 Morris Alley.